Um, Gary, we'll start with Tuesday night. If there's a textbook for not how to start a game, that was probably it. Yeah, definitely. I think um, you can't start a game like that and, and expect to come away with any points. Um, before we knew it, we were 2 0 down. And uh, the way we gave away goals was, was criminal, really. And uh, we just shot ourselves in the foot. Did it take all the momentum, all the, all the pre match wind out of yourselves? Yeah, obviously, we prepared over the last few days. To, um, for the game and then as soon as they've scored everything changes um, and I think at 2-1 we possibly could, got, could have got back in the game again and then obviously we've let a goal, another goal in and uh, like I say yeah, we're just giving sloppy goals away and just shot ourselves in the foot. Talking for the back four, where did it go wrong on Tuesday night in your mind? Well, after seven seconds like you said, we, um, it was such a bad start for us. Um, I think. The season so far, I think we've uh, we've done quite well back four. We've been quite tight, and uh, wasn't really like us at all. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't really know where it went wrong. I think it was just giving sloppy goals away, making it too easy for them. How big is the loss of Alan Marriott behind you in your mind? Yeah, it'd be a, it'd be a massive loss for us. Obviously, he's a key player for us, and uh, he performs well week in week out. But um, obviously, we've got a new lad coming in now, so. Uh, Hopefully we can jump within the next couple of days and he'll be fine for us on Saturday. We'll talk more about a new keeper in a minute, but in terms of your personal performance on, on Tuesday night, what did you make of that? My personal performance? Possibly, well probably the worst I've played I think for, for the club. Um, I think like Steve-O rang me the other day and said, I've played uh, 100 games now, 100 appearances, and I think that, that's probably my worst one. How bitterly disappointing and frustrating was that when you got into bed on Tuesday night? Yeah, very disappointing. I didn't, didn't get to sleep till about three o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah, these things happen, and uh, that's, that's football sometimes, and you just got to get on with it. 100 games for Mansfield Town, great landmark to, to reach. Yep. Just in terms of looking ahead now, though, <coughs> how important is it for both personally, yourself, as well as the team, to get back onto a winning way from Saturday? Yeah, obviously, we've had a, a win now for two or three games. So, um, yeah, we're obviously really looking to get back to. Winning ways Saturday, um, getting on three points and uh, just to keep it a pack really. Winning becomes a habit, does losing and drawing become a habit? Um, no, I think uh, good teams always bounce back quickly. Um, that's what we've got to do on Saturday to make sure we, we get another three points. Like I say, staying in the pack and, and keeping the playoffs. New keeper behind you, have you had a chance to meet him yet? I've just met him quickly in the change room there just to sort of introduce ourselves. But, um, yeah, he looks like a, he's got good good size, so uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes in training today. Talk to me about the relationship that the defender has with the goalkeeper. How important is it for you two, obviously, to communicate and work together? And how long does it come? How long does it take to form that partnership and that relationship? It, it always depends. It's different keepers, different players, different can take different amounts of time. Um, obviously, I, I've just spoke to him. And he speaks really good English, so that shouldn't be a problem. But um, yeah, obviously you've got to, you've got to find out things like if he's right third, left third, and he'll he'll find out things about me over the next couple of tra couple of sessions. And um, yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Hopefully, uh, he's obviously got a good background. He's at Sheffield United, so yeah, it should be it should be decent for us. Through suspensions and whatnot, you've had changes to the left of you as well within the centre of defence. Do you think changing central defenders has upset maybe the rhythm of that back four over the last couple of games? Possibly, but I don't think it's really been a problem. I think. Um, Young Nails came in and, and done really well when he played, so um, I don't think it's really been a massive problem for us. We've got good competition there and I think whoever comes in uh, has come in and done a good job.